Paris, Western spawn, medium tank. What options do we have? Spawning on Paris in the west with a medium tank. The game usually develops like this. And with a medium tank, you have several options. First of all, you can go to the north and play here. Just sit here and hide. However, in my opinion, the gameplay in the north is relatively stationary due to the open field. So I would not recommend to do this. You can also go here, um, try to get shots into the middle, and then maybe also go to this position and get shots here. But once again, I think this gameplay is uh, very stationary. Plus, there are lots of um, uh, lots of possibilities for the enemy team to get shots to this position from from here basically and then also from here so this is a uh, relatively aggressive and dangerous position now what I like to do on Paris is with my medium tank I like to go here to first of all get shots onto the tanks which are aggressively pushing to this position and then if you have cleared this position then what you can do is you can advance like this into this street here and then support your heavy tanks like this and then even move, move uh, further to this position and further support your heavy tanks because I think winning the heavy flank in the south is what you want to do with your medium tank spawning in Paris. Alright, so we want to go to this position, to the J, what is it, J4 position, in order to um, get shots on aggressive adversary tanks which are pushing towards the D5, D6 position. So this is what I want to do and um, if you position yourself right here then you cannot be you cannot get shot by the tank destroyer sitting at the D8 position. So this is why I usually like to go here and then I simply look and see what happens. And the good thing is that um, on Paris you can try to um, yeah, help your heavies as I as I said um, and go from from uh, crossing street to crossing street basically depending on how the game develops okay looks like the type 61 is making pressure and okay bam this is this is the first shot nice and obviously we have a decent dpm nice second shot and maybe nice three shots 764 damage nice very strong opening and um, yeah i simply like to punish those um those tanks which are playing over aggressively nice here comes the fourth shot and as you can see um in this game i use the small gun the stock gun <coughs> so my reload is super short and uh, he already lost 984 damage which is or hp which is great and now um you simply want to assess what is happening on the heavy flank now if the enemy team is winning the heavy flank then you have to relocate towards your your base and try to defend the base opening up crossfire situations alongside with your or together with your tank destroyer sitting at the d2 position or d3 position and um, if your team is winning then you can move forward and i believe that is what we are going to do because um, looks like our team is winning um, but um, i want to wait until the type 61 is taken out of the game so that he does not spot us and so that we have the surprising factor on our side so i'm moving forward carefully uh, okay and trying to take out the type 61 i think he should be entangled in a fight with the elc even 90 and so i go nice maybe i can hit the cupola okay no maybe the second shot i'm spot but that's all right and nice we can take him out and so now we simply want to wait until we're not spotted anymore uh, okay or we simply <laughs> we'll just i think we can just push in and then now we want to use our dpm in order to kill the enemy tanks here the heavy tanks so that our team is able to further advance into go nice uh, so that our team is uh, able to further advance on the heavy flank and i can now push aggressively forward and kill this team 32 and now i can get shots um, to the rear of the turret of the E75 and so we can take him out nice and he is taken out nice and now our heavy tanks can advance and this is how you can help 
your heavy tanks in uh, winning the game and now what i what i want to do is i don't want to push alongside with my heavy tanks on the heavy flank but i once again want to go just simply to the next street uh, but before this we have to wait until the panzer 58 moves ah here you go there he is can we get a shot on him nice yeah nice and okay so uh, yeah and now if you uh, push out here then my recommendation is you go shot on the skoda t56 to push right here and so nice we can take him out and um, here you can knock down a tree and then you have the first spotting and the first shot advantage on your side and you can always fall back into cover so um in my opinion this is how you can and how you should play um paris Obviously, you can also go to the, to the light flank in the north. However, in my opinion, the game there is most likely more stationary than on the heavy flank. And so, in my opinion, most of the time, um, the team which is able to win the heavy flank wins Paris. And so, I would, um, I would say that it makes much more sense to support your heavies on the heavy flank on Paris than to support your light tanks on the light flank in the north and so yeah the game is won now uh, we want to make more damage we already made th uh, 3100 damage which is super nice and uh, this is basically due to the super nice dpm on the tank if you're using the stock gun and so just simply two artilleries remaining maybe we can get another shot and you know what i'm loading he okay, yeah, okay. the first one doesn't ah, okay should have loaded um but maybe this one go nice and um yeah so 3700 damage on paris and i think this is how you should play this map